difficulties and inconsistencies, or perhaps because of them, it is endured as one of the earliest and most important forms of human expression. Whether it engages emotions, politics, or existence itself, art is fundamental to the way human beings interact with environments they do not fully control, much less understand. Local artist Joel Isaacson's exhibit on walls actively engages these issues through an exploration of barriers between societies and groups, and most importantly between people, in a world where, in Isaacson's own words, empathy, reason, and communication have left the field. The earliest painting that I did actually was on the subject of um, the, the burqa, uh, and, and that began shortly after shortly after the World Trade Center towers went down, and, uh, and then we invaded uh, Afghanistan. I, mean, I call the exhibition Walls, and the idea is that with, with the burqa, we're talking about a wall, a wall between a person and, and her environment. Uh, the other walls on the exhibition uh, have to do with literal walls, if you will, between the U.S. and Mexico, and the wall between um, uh, Israel and, the, and uh, Palestine. They both had to do with, with uh, basically a kind of uh, aggressive character directed from one society to another. I mean these paintings to be um, as much directed at the United States as it is at, uh, for instance, the Taliban. It's my hope that um, seeing burqa after burqa after burqa and looking at the paintings and seeing something of the the energy of the strokes, but also the, the breaks and disruptions and the tears in the, in, in the material, that um, uh, if the viewer gives, uh, gives a lot of attention uh, to it, that the viewer might uh, come to some realization that, I'm deal that they're dealing with Afghanistan after, Inga after Afghanistan after Afghanistan. Joel Isaacson's work is political, but it is also formally abstract, a pairing that often requires the viewer to do more work to understand the content of the paintings. I've been doing abstract paintings for a few years and um, uh, found myself thinking also more and more about these political questions and I began to ask myself whether I could somehow put them together and to see whether, you know, whether uh, the paintings can contain this content. Art history graduate Alexandra Courtois viewed the exhibit and had her own opinion about the effect of the work's abstraction. When, when talking about the uh, conflict between Israel and Palestine, I thought it was really interesting that he chose to express his thoughts uh, via abstraction because when, when we think about that conflict, we often don't have a full picture of it. And most people um, lack the amount of information to fully have an image and a complete understanding of what's going on. So in a way, that visual abstraction reflects the abstraction we feel. I, I have a lot to learn now about how others will receive uh, these pictures. I would hope that, that for, for viewers uh, there might be um, some trigger <laughs> that, uh, that at some point might open up the paintings. But beyond politics and abstraction, Isaacson suggests that art can alter and enhance our experience of the world in which we live. I would hope that, that uh, people might take it as a, uh, as a good sort of activity to, to really consult the painting with their eyes and play with uh, the painting's forms. In effect, ac accept that as a good, productive activity. Uh, you know, and that is, I think, one of the things that art provides or can provide, uh, uh, an experience that's, that's um, outside of our normal, everyday um, concerns and activities. You can see Joel Isaacson's exhibit at the Graduate Theological Union in Berkeley through January 30th, 2009. Don't miss it. For Cal TV, I'm Sonia Flores.